Oh, hello, Boaties. Accordion Cafe Marine. Uh, this is a uh, second part in the strip down of this even route. Four horsepower, two cylinder. <clears throat> and uh, in this video, uh, it's quite a quick video, nothing much really. Um, just going to be um, cleaning the plugs. And uh, as you can see, just looking over the cowl in there, which is split. But as I said before, I got it for um, uh, nothing basically, and uh, so you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. And I'm just taking the plugs out, um, which weren't very tight anyway; they were pretty almost finger loose. Um, I mean, we know that spark plugs are only finger tight with a little pin shop with a spanner. Um, anyway, there's uh, two plugs being a twin cylinder, of course and uh, when I took the plugs out um, they, they weren't too bad at all um, it's it's not a fiddly job getting the plugs out it's a five minute job uh, cleaning a couple of plugs up and uh, I uh, just had to uh, give them a little wipe over um, <clears throat> they were uh, slightly oily but uh, we will see later on um, can't expect too much from uh, something that's given to you. Um, we did uh, start on the previous video, um, that's just a bit of, uh, a bit of uh, memory paper there, just cleaning the electrodes up on, on the inside of it. Um, yeah, like I said on the, the other video, uh, I said I was going to have a look at the oil in the little gearbox at the bottom of the leg. Um, there was some fishing line got right inside the prop so just at the end of this video we'll be having a look at that oil to check it's not milky which would indicate um, a leak in the uh, hub bearing but uh, there we are that was the first plug and the um, second plug which is a bit a um, little bit tiny bit more fiddly but not really Quite a straightforward job taking the plugs out. Just make sure you get the plug caps in the right order when you pull the plug caps off. Um, if you look at the um, where the plug caps come from on the um, little black power pack ignition coil, um, you'll see that the plug lead for the top plug um, comes off the, the top of the um, coil and the plug for the bottom plug comes off the bottom of the coil so you can't really go wrong I'm just, I've just got a little um, gap in it there making sure I've got the right gap there's a lot of work to do on this motor and although I do put the plugs back in um, I'm only putting them in um, to keep it uh, tidy and keep moisture out plug holes. Um, before I put them back in um, I just like to clean around the uh, the outside of the um, threads spark plug hole. Got to watch you don't drop any dirt inside the spark plug hole when you do that. And then when you put them back in it's uh, that, that's basically it to make sure your plug leads go back in the right order otherwise it will do strange things this is just um, if it turns out to be a decent engine uh, I'll just, sort of just keep this one as an auxiliary or use it on the dinghy I don't know about anyone else but uh, I know most people um, pleasure boaters anyway <coughs> uh, I certainly wouldn't go to sea without an auxiliary motor I remember I uh, had a brand new 30 horsepower and 
it was the second day I had it and I'd gone well less than a mile out and it just <coughs> that was the end and that was one day old it was brand new wasn't second hand it was a brand new motor and uh, it had already had its PDI its pre-delivery pre inspection <clears throat> and it was running fine and I got a mile out the harbour and it packed up and it was just a little bit of polystyrene from the packing got inside the carburetor on the jets oh there we are on the top of this motor I said about this yesterday those are your shear pins which are a special metal for the prop and the um, uh, split pins which you should replace uh, as you can see I, uh, I'll put it back together yesterday just quickly just to keep everything tidy all I want to do on here is to check the uh, condition of the oil. The, the top screw is a vent screw at the bottom of the leg for your gearbox oil and the, the bottom one is where you uh, fill it from. When you're filling it you, you take the uh, top screw out of the bottom screw and you fill it from the bottom and you, you squeeze the container until it just appears at the top hole and then you put your plug back in the bottom and so now we see the condition of the oil and this was the first time I'd taken the um, the oil drain plug out and as soon as I saw the oil I knew it was good oil it, it was fine um, it looked good and it felt quite good and um, uh, and it smelled good because I, I, I smell oil <laughs> oh, we've all got our little kinks I suppose and uh, yes it was in good condition so the fishing line which got round the prop and uh, there was a lot of it, it was on pretty damn tight too. Um, in the first video you'll see I used a Stanley knife to cut it away. But um, the oil was in good condition, it wasn't milky and uh, you know it, it, it was in good condition so I think that'll be alright. Um, I shall probably, uh, I've got to go back to this because I think it, it will need a top up because it lost a few uh, tablespoons of oil. Um, so that doesn't matter, that's fine. Anyway, um, there we are. Uh, watch the ceiling washers when you replace these plugs. You should replace the ceiling washers on these plugs um, when you replace them. Uh, sometimes it might be okay, but it's you know it's it's up to you. Oh, I'm not worth taking the risk, but there we are. So um, watch out for the third video. And bye bye for now and happy boating.